What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? It's me, your big partner, Cartoon One. Man, I'm back again, man. I'm back again, man. This one here is a little bit different from how I usually come. Y'all check that out, man. Just so y'all know. The Foundation Nation. I'm going to put the gang on in, man. The Foundation Nation gang. But anyway, man, I got my shirt on backwards just in case. But anyway, man, this is a little bit different from what I usually come with, man. This is this is something right here that uh I believe a lot of people need to hear. A lot it need it need to get out. Cause it's been over the it's been over the YouTube world uh lately for the last few weeks pretty good. Man, uh I know everybody's hip to that big fire in Hawaii a couple of weeks ago. A lot of people killed, man, a lot of property destroyed on the island of Maui. Um, you got a lot of people, man, that's mad at Oprah Winfrey. They mad at her. Um, she showed, she showed up over there with her camera crew. Now, you know, showed up with, you know, a lot of other stuff supp uh, supposedly to help the people that lost their property, the people that got messed up over there. But what they're mad about is she showed up with a camera crew. Now, in this day and age, we got the term clout chasing. Uh, basically, that's what a lot of people are trying to say Oprah done did is clout chase. She showed up with the camera crew, but and she showed up with a lot of other things uh, so to help the people that have been damaged. But what was the camera crew for? That's what a lot of people can't understand. What was the camera crew for? Um... If you if you can recall back in the um in your Bible, you had what called you hear people talk about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Um, they were they were they were two different Christian cults that wanted to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being true religious, they wanted to be seen. They wanted to be seen in the streets, helping the people, supposedly praying for the people, and and giving the people that were homeless or whatever all the things that they supposedly had needed, but really they didn't really care about the people. They just wanted to be seen as caring. Um, that's what a lot of people are looking at Oprah right now about. They, 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 they're putting her in the role of a Pharisee. Um, unbeknownst to a lot of people, Oprah Winfrey owns over 2000 acres of land in Hawaii. They didn't know that. So now it could be seen as she's over there to take care of her investment. One never knows. But now, you know, I used to have conversations when I was in prison with a lot of people. And, um, you know, the conversations would get deep uh, about like the homeless people in America. And then we would look at the plight of a lot of people that are over in Africa, man. You know, um, you guys, you guys, you guys, you you know, you got people that show like the little small huts and the dirt streets and the crumbling walls and all that. And when I was younger, I used to always wonder, man, all why ain't nobody helping them? Out of all the black people, all, and I'm going to take it back, not just black people, but out of all the black millionaires, out of all the black millionaires that are in the United States, you mean to tell me they can't come together? and help the people over there in Africa? Because, you know, no matter what nobody say, no matter what nobody do, we still are of African descent, point blank. And I used to always tell myself, you know what, man, if I was a millionaire, man, I, you know, I tell my wife that, I tell people, I told people when I was a prisoner, man, if I was a millionaire, man, I would go back into the, uh, excuse me, not back into the prison, but I would go to Africa, man, and I would try to help build stuff and make stuff. Now you got a lot of you got you got a lot of black millionaires that do do that, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Look at all the basketball players. Look at all the football players, baseball players, um, soccer players, or whatever. All, all the all the black business people, the rappers, all that that are millionaires. Imagine if they all came together and just gave a little bit. 30,000, 40,000, whatever. You, you you know, you're a millionaire several times over. $20,000, $30,000 is not going to hurt you. Imagine if all the black athletes and rappers and singers and business owners that are millionaires came together and just gave. 
and you know not get not 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 get the money together and give it back to give it to these people that say they going over there to help build wells, help build schools, help build hospitals, help bring the water out the ground so little kids can have clean water to drink. They say they doing that, but are they really doing it? Or are they still in the money pocketing it and buying just enough to say that they did something over there when the bulk and the majority of the money is being sent someplace else and done and done and done with in other ways? Hmm. No. Don't give to them people. Man, designate designate your own person that's going to go over there and make sure that the stuff is bought. Cuz that's what I used to tell myself if I was a, if I was a, a mega millionaire and I had the money, man, I would go over there myself and I would buy the stuff myself and and watch watch it come over. And watch the schools being built. Watch the hospitals being built. Watch the wells being dug. Watch the clothes and the blankets and the food being bought. I would watch. I'd do it myself. I would do it myself. Now, like I said, you have had some black millionaires in America do that, but I don't think it's enough doing it. Even um, I think you know, in the past, I think I've seen where yeah, of course, where I've seen Op Oprah go over there. And 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 do something of the of the of that of that like ilk, but you got people that are mad at her now, saying that um a lot of stuff she did was for the clout, was to be seen, was to put up an image like, look, I care, look, I'm helping. Now I can't say if she cares or not, but you have a lot of people in the comments, you have a lot of people in the social media that are on her head right now saying that she just wants to put up an image of helping. Hmm. Not only that, um, you got a lot of people, man, that's coming up with conspiracy theories on how a fire of this magnitude could destroy a town that was as spread out as this town was in Hawaii. A fire of that magnitude in Hawaii. Hmm. You know, that... that hmm. Um, a lot of people blame it on the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? You know you have all these conspiracies, the Illuminati, to this, to that, to this, to that, the government, to this. People got, you know, all type of uh, conspiracy theories to put on it. Um, do I believe in them? Some, yeah. Yeah, some I do believe in. But... You got a lot of people saying that um, this fire wasn't just no accident. If it was or wasn't, I don't know. But you have a lot of people that feel strongly about this. Now, I don't know what could possibly be gained from destroying this town. I don't know if something, I don't know what could be gained. I'm not that high up on the ladder to know. I'm not that good of an investigative journalist to dig and find out. I don't know. Somebody knows. But now here it is as so, you know, as soon as the fire destroyed all these people property, it Johnny on the spot. You got investors knocking up, knock knocking down the walls, you know, getting at people. Sell me this, sell me your land, sell me this property, sell me this, sell me that. Quick. I mean, almost before all the bodies could be dug up, before all the bodies could be found. They already own some 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 crafty, let me get your stuff. Hmm. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you some, I'm gonna show you some videotape of uh how some people feel. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get to it right now. I'm gonna get to it right now. Milestones. The story of the 2023 Maui fire and its implications for climate change. I want to note that today is August 16th. It is 2.35 in the morning. 
here's the description of the book. Note, right here. The book chronicles the events of August 8th through the 11th. Again, it's August 16th. This book is published and out for you to purchase right now. How? Why? I have some theories of this myself. I'm, I'm thinking, first of all, it's part of an agenda. If you look here, they're asking the question right there about the impacts of climate change from things like this. There's no way you can write a book that quick, have it published and out to the people. They're still counting bodies on that island. Okay, I gotta tell you guys, I am so frustrated with investors and realtors calling the families who lost their home, offering to buy their land. How dare you do that to our community right now? If you are a, oh, call them I, sorry, had a little bit poor reception right there. If you are a victim and they are calling you, please get their name. People keep calling me, sorry. Get their business name so we can put. Okay. Now here it is. Y'all seen that. You seen what old boy said. You see how he said, how can a book be written and published in that time frame that fast of the fire? He feels some type of way about it. I don't know. I don't know. You see what old girl said about how she felt about people coming in trying to get her property this fast. I don't know. I don't know. But now you have a lot of people that feel that um, some, sh some shenanigans is going on somewhere. If it is or isn't, I don't know. But now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, Foundation, I'm going to keep my ear to the, to, to, to the, to the ground and I'm going to keep my eyes open on this subject because we're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to get to the bottom of it, y'all. It's me, man, your big partner, Cartoon One. I'm on the investigation hunt now, y'all. Peace. I'm out.